Like seriously, I kept staring at my phone like, is Digger gonna text me? I can't wait to see you. I don't wanna love you anymore. had your heart emotionally scarred and trapped in a dark place where you feel a painful void in your chest and you hurt as your heart aches and then you try to hide it because you feel like telling your parents would be a mistake as you try to stop the pain your mind repeats it from the start like a mixtape. After so long of the shit you get fucking sick of being depressed wanting to forget about all the awful memories and just remember the best crying at 3am in the morning because your thoughts wouldn't let you rest feeling like you no longer want to be alive in this world because of relationship distress. It was truly difficult for me to sit here and write down these lyrics but it's a part of my life who made me who I am. I felt like I had to share even though I had to get my mind back in a bad place to create this It's worth cause the rest of my life I can listen to this and it will be relevant I went through a lot of shit emotionally I try not to show on the surface Because putting my problems on other people makes me feel like a nuisance I only really shared it in my music And I didn't do it for sympathy I did it vent and then tell my story I don't wanna love you anymore with an evil attention seeking whore she taught me apologies don't mean anything if you keep doing what you're sorry for my emotions for rage and depression don't mix well but they intertwine it's hard to sleep at night when your heart is constantly at war with your mind i'd be in my room listening to music for about an hour or two i can't even listen to some of my favorite songs without thinking of you because it only takes you hearing one song to bring back a thousand memories there were days where i just wanted to sleep and now wake up for multiple centuries imagine you get with the person you love and they cheat on you the next day imagine the dude she did it with personally told you that he would never no way imagine Imagine getting your fucking heart shattered on fucking Valentine's Day. Imagine thinking you can't trust a damn thing that your lover would say. I wear my heart on my sleeve and that's the reason I'm full of adrenaline. I'm gonna make sure I'm successful just to show you how great your life could have been. I took it personally cause I never would have ever done it to you. Ironic your fate, nothing's faithful about you. I don't wanna love you anymore. Create a nice sex with someone that you claim to hate that's cheap. Why would you cheat on someone you don't want to lose with someone you don't want to keep? Why do women run from guys who want to grow and have their love magnify and fight for guys who just want to fuck and who ends up making them cry? Without getting manipulated by someone else's own opinion, listen to this question and honestly answer it for yourself for a minute. Out of all the dudes you have dated, who were the most decent you've been with? If you had to think about it, that's the Koki did because the answer's me and Kenna. If you could only feel the amount of pain I felt for you for one moment, you'd probably kill yourself because you want to know how to hell to deal with it. I know for a fact no matter what emotional pain you ever go through, it will never come close to the amount of fucking pain I dealt with because of you. Mark, Jake, Helvon, Chris, Kenneth, Ethan, you're trying to replace me, but not a single soul you ever meet in your entire life will ever be me. I've had chicks who not long after they met me, they went home and made shrines. I'm your true love faith, but you're not mine. I don't wanna love you anymore. school my friends noticed they could see the sign sat on the inside they asked if I'm okay I tell them yeah I'm fine I've done a lot of dumb shit to forget about you and the numb the pain proud of my heart for being strong enough not to put a bullet through my brain I defended your name when everyone said getting back with you'd be bad and I can say without a doubt in my mind you caused my biggest tragedy but sometimes the only reason you hold on to what's making you sad is because it's also the only thing that's honestly making you happy if she actually did truly believe in it and an only and if she actually did truly mean it 
it well then you think it'd be about damn time she truly lived it but she did and everything she told me were just broken promises you hated what we could have been and you hated crash in the end and the reason why is because you knew everything said on both of those are true this song is like seven minutes long and that's still not enough time to cover everything on how you did me wrong I don't wanna love you any Cut the course, I'm not done yet, I'm still dropping facts Do you know how everyone will remember the both of us from the 2020 class? I'll be remembered as that crazy ass white guy who couldn't rap You'll be remembered as that slut who let every horny fuck get some ass you Used to tell me I love you so much, you're, you're amazing You also told me the fact that I loved you so much was so damn crazy I guess my screws tighten cause the love I have for you now is zero I wouldn't even care if you died tomorrow I don't wanna love you any Honestly, I never would've started writing lyrics if it wasn't for you. I only started to vent my emotions because of the pain you put me through. The first time we went to Bush Gardens, we were so happy we enjoyed the lines, but the car ride home sealed the next six years once you put your hand on top of mine. Maybe I needed to make this to remind you that I won't ever forgive you. Maybe I needed to make this to remind myself never to go back to you. I still remember how close we used to be only a couple years ago. The only promise I made to you and broke is when I told you that I'll never let you go. You really thought you mean so for going to get friendship tattoos? Bitch, she only hung out with your ass so much because of me. Nice. You. If you don't believe it, go ahead and ask her and find out what she was really about. Hell, if I wanted to, I probably could have gone her to knock your ass out. Know you better than you know yourself. I know how you feel about me. I know after most of your breakups that you wish that you and me could be. I don't want that, but you do. But when we don't end up together in the end, that's okay because I hate you. I, hate you. I don't want to love you anymore.